Hi friends, Dr. Nancy Trimbley here. Do you suffer from migraines or maybe uh, inflammation or joint pain or sinus issues or uh, can't lose weight uh, or skin conditions and you can't figure out why and you've tried everything and basically a medical, medical model has nothing to offer you? Um, well, I've got some new information and this is histamine foods, histamine creating foods that you may have an intolerance for because you lack the digestive enzyme. I'm going to screen share and I am going to show you a list of these high histamine foods. This is not my website. This is a Dr. Kevin Connors website. who looks like he has some great resources, uh, but he's got a really nice graphic here on histamine rich foods. Um, and here's the thing, if you're trying to do a, a paleo diet or a keto diet or trying to avoid carbs, almost everything on this list is probably things that you eat and you wonder why you're still sick. So this could be, um, this could be uh, cheeses, especially good aged cheeses, which don't have any preservatives, uh, mushrooms, processed meats, smoked fish, nuts and seeds, and also fermented foods, like not only sauerkraut, but kombucha. You might be trying to get kombucha thinking it's going to help your gut issue. And meanwhile, you just get worse and worse. Also fermented drinks. Uh, this could be beers and wines, um, any foods with vinegars. And I find also um, that there could be other meats that create, um, that create histamine that are not on this list. Um, so, and also to make it even more complicated, there are foods that are not histamine creators, but they liberate histamine in other foods. So this is citrus, lemons, limes, even pineapples, um, oranges, and also chocolate, other nuts, tomatoes, beans. So this has been, this could be, uh, the, this could be the answer to your mystery. This could help you unravel the mystery of you. Uh, so you don't necessarily have to completely eliminate these foods. That's the beautiful thing about a histamine intolerance. What you do is you take an enzyme, which is mentioned right here, diamine oxidase. Diamine oxidase, DAO, is, a, uh, is a, an enzyme you can buy in a capsule form and it's easy to take. You just take the enzymes, one or two, with any foods that might contain any of these things that I mentioned. And it is like magic. It is like magic. Um, some of your problems could be completely eliminated overnight. So um, please try this. There's a lot of good companies out there that sell the DAO. Uh, this Dr. Kevin Connors, he looks like he happens to have his own enzyme. Uh, Dr. Amy Myers is another one of my favorite uh, online uh, doctors. So she has uh, an enzyme for histamine. So look for the DAO, diamine oxidase, and start taking that. And I hope that helps. Let me know how you do in the comments below. Bye for now. Hi, friends. Um, just a little interruption here about the supplement for your histamine intolerance, which is DAO. And I had said that the Amy Myers brand is the one I've been getting. Well, Amy Myers uh, MD brand online changed their formulation. Uh, instead of a capsule, um, it now is these tiny, tiny little pills and they are not digestible. So the person I mentioned in the video that noticed overnight success with the, the former supplement from Amy Myers, it changed to this and within weeks, everything was back. The sinus congestion, the skin condition, the joint pain, the inflammation. So um, if you're gonna use this one, if you have this one, you have to grind it up. You have to grind it into a powder. So, uh, we went out and looked for a different supplement, DAO supplement, and this is the one that we are currently using. Sorry about that. And I'm going to notify Amy Myers MD that their new formulation is ineffective.